Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We have sort of completed the Mohol mission. We didn't really get a good look at what's down there, but it said we completed it. So we are proceeding to other things. Activate a jet engine and lathe. We, I wonder if it would know that we had... No, it doesn't look like it knows that we had already done that. Uh, oh well. Anyway, sample sir. I'm still tired of Jewel. Still tired of Jewel. And Moho. Maybe... Maybe Drez now? Plan a flag in the on the Eye of Drez. I mean, that's 6,400. Um, only the... Froze, which uh, the rover onto the frozen tsunami of Elu is about the same, uh, except for uh, landing ten kerbals on E and returning them to Kerbin is the same amount of science. I think that should be more science. So yeah, the most lucrative thing is just flying a fly flag on the Eye of Drez, and we haven't visited Drez, so I guess it's time to visit Drez. So, Drez has to be 82 degrees ahead of Kerbin in order for us to transfer over there. So, let's take a look. Drez is back there. It's behind. Well, we're just going to time warp. Right about there looks good. Now, how are we going to get there? We just need to plant a flag. And we have multiple ways of doing this. We could just go with the Saturn V again. But maybe I should do something different. It'd be sort of nice doing a good clean Saturn V mission. The Kripalo mission. Okay, well let's just review what it says about Drez. And we are talking about a round trip. Good plan if you like crashing. Well, I don't think it's taking everything into consideration. Especially the fact that always seems to count the Delta V to capture into Kerbin Low Orbit when, of course, we're just going to aero capture. So we can subtract 3,400 and then we get it just about right, apparently. Uh, I say apparently because the distribution of the Delta V in this might not be great. Uh, we are ultimately going to have enough to transfer to Drez using this stage, that's for sure. But then... Capturing around Drez takes a fair amount of Delta V, 1,300 it says here, and I'll choose to believe it. So right now we have too much in the lander and too little in the service module here. If the Drez Delta V to land and take off again is that little, maybe we don't want a separate lander. When you think about it, again, an optimal stage is like 10 times the ISP of the engine, right? So... We're generally thinking of a stage having 3,000 meters per second or so. And the surface requirement here is just 800, so we don't really want a separate stage for that. Maybe we just want a capture stage, and the uh, capture and descent stage, and then a return stage. At long last, can we get the larger fairings, maybe? Maybe that's the thing that we should do. We have 9,000 science. I guess it's sort of petty for me not to get these, but let me just see how much the larger fairings would cost. Large payloads. Guess that's what we want. Or do I just want the extra large? Extra large payloads is all the way up here. To get the extra large fairings, we need these. <laughs> uh, so that would cost how much? 11,000, 18,000, 26,000. 26,000 to get the extra large payloads. And those payload fairings. I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> these, uh, these are the... Maybe they're not the extra large ones. Maybe those are just large tanks? Okay, well, this one is just a large tank. These at the bottom are extra large tanks. I guess it would be an improvement just having the large payload fairings. Research. Guess I have to get that one and then that one. And I'll fill out tier two. Whatever. 
I doubt I need those at all. Will we really be able to get this much science? We need more science instruments. I haven't even found... They said they had a lot of science instruments. There's a radiation science here. Radiation survey. Hmm. I feel like we haven't gotten many scientific instruments. This atmospheric science, but you know, the use cases for that are limited. Um, radiation science though, that's all over the place. So we'll get this radiation science and then there's also orbital science, orbital survey. Hmm. All right. Um, it's heavy, but it's not too heavy. Let's send it over to Drez as well. Yeah, I'm feeling like we need way more science than we've been doing, and that we than we've been getting from the missions. But how big is this science? No, it's not that big. It's like a really, really mean, mini Hubble. <laughs> I think we'll just land that. Oh, people had said that we should not have pitch, yaw, and roll on these because they get confused by that. Not that I need it for translation necessarily right now, because we're getting rid of the lander and it's going to land on its own. It's going to require a stubby engine. I was actually uh, sort of hoping to put one of the extendable nozzle ones, but obviously that's not going to work. So I guess it will just be the Terrier. I don't feel the need for RCS thrusters here. And that means we can get rid of the monopropellant. I don't understand. Uh, I, I don't know if that's exactly how that works out. Um, well, I, I think we might need more Delta V than I'm thinking. Hmm. I thought it was only like 1,500 to return from Drez. Well, the thrust weight ratio for Drez is 3.7 with this, with the Terrier. So we could put more... more fuel on. Do we just have a large tank? This seems... odd. Well, now that's a 2.4 thrust weight ratio and 3,785 meters per second. And that's without the escape system. So, that's not bad, but that makes me feel a little bit better about the return. So we'll say that this has to do the final touchdown on Drez, and then getting back into Drez orbit and then returning home. And then we'll have another stage to capture. Now down here... Uh, this is just a vector. We actually wanted a tuba. Now, can this do the transfer and capture and this? No, I doubt it. I think we need a poodle stage in here. And the poodle stage should have the science that we want to add on. We don't need this lander. We're just going to land with this. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to use a nose cone to connect it. Okay, but we need something to counterbalance it then. Antenna would be good. But none of these are heavy enough. Something that's not got change mass, like a fuel tank. No, a soul panel is not going to do the trick. Well, a probe core. <laughs> Having a probe core on one side is annoying, but... Well, the rove mate is sort of flattish. I guess the only thing would be the slightly side-mounted reaction wheel. Guess this close. Okay, hopefully that helps counterbalance that. Well, now it all looks like this. Upgrade this fairing from a uh, medium to a large. Not that that helps anything, it actually is more mass, so this looks better. Okay, sort of a dress mission? What is that one hanging out there? Oh, mop bound tank? Well, no mop bound. Something wants to save this later, it's gonna need to bring its own RCS and mop balance. Okay, so this is Drez mission. 
but let's sort out the staging. Yeah, we still got that mysterious 4,800 meters per second that isn't true right here. So, what is it? What is it about this stage? Somebody suggested it was symmetry, but even if I take these off, let me take these off and delete it. This one says 2,165 on its own. But is that true of all engines that they have that same problem? 2,230? 5,500 and... I don't even get the multiple there, but... Um, see, I mean, it multiplies by a weird factor, whatever it is. Because with two engines, it's still 5,190. And it's 5,540. So, uh, peculiarity. But I swear on other stages it doesn't have this problem, so... Hmm. How about these guys? Anyway, I'll investigate this uh, weird delta V calculation here further later. It's just that I don't think it happens all the time with the surface mount engines. Or the um, engines in symmetry. You just need to plant a flag, but it's in Drez's eye, wherever that is. So, we're gonna poke it in the eye, as it deserves, darn it. Bill. Wonder where Bob actually went. I didn't kill Bob. Now we'll go with Bill. I guess we should have a ladder. I think their jetpacks would work on Drez, though. But, yeah, we'll put a ladder. Weirdly clipped there. Oops. Why is it not giving me the translational handles? Yeah. I thought, I mean, I thought I had the translational handles a second ago, what? But now it's just rotational handles? And we're fly safe again. Okay, fine. Maybe I shouldn't have put the ladder. Okay, Drez mission. Alright, well... We've got 14,000, Trip Planner says 15,000, but Trip Planner is including 3,000 for low orbit. So, should be okay. It's wiggling a l Oh no, it's doing that. Oh no. What is it with new rockets? It's sort of stable in its instability right now. I like how Bill's head is bobbing to it too. Not bobbing, doing the side to side thing. Don't know what you want to call that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can't launch. Let me revert to launch. Last time it did something like this that worked. Now, the heading is still swinging, but... Yeah, it seems stable now. Go figure. All right, let's try it. Of course, we did revert to launch, so no countdown. Very Saturn V ascent. We're so efficient this time, we're not even carrying monopropellant. There's no real science, right? Yeah. 
I feel like Bill and Drez sort of belong together. I don't know why. Drez is sort of a Bill thing, I feel. Well, there's KSB2 Sunrise for you. Past the speed of sound. Almost done with the first stage. Oh, that popped up all on its own. I guess we'll transmit it. Okay. I was so insistent about it, I decided to pop up. We've got a lot of electric charge on here, actually. The radiation measurement is... It takes a lot of power, but doesn't give that much data, it seems. Well, anyway, launch escape system jettison. I think. Maybe... Yeah, it should be okay. Uh, I take it back. Maybe it's not okay. I forgot about the dock. Well, I mean, do we really want the docking port? Maybe it blowing up is not a bad thing in this case, since we're not expecting to dock with anything. But, yeah, that does protect the docking port from overheating on the way up. Uh, I'll try and just get higher earlier. Get out of the atmosphere sooner. To prevent explosions. Oh, it's a little bit high now. Let me just cut it and coast. Not efficient, but I just want to see if I can avoid an explosion. Much to everybody's consternation, of course. But yeah, very not efficient. Tuba. Okay. So, Drez. A little bit short. It's that five degree inclination right there. Well, we definitely want to hit right at a single point. Well, it seems like we're getting an encounter there even. Or something's happening. Uh, but that's close enough. We'll have to do stuff. Do a correction. But we can't do that right now. Darn not plotting two things. Alright. Uh, I'll just point prograde and go. But I uh, forgot. During time warp it doesn't hold the prograde. That's less efficient. I really wanted a whole prograde. No, it does change our timing there though. Hopefully we'll fix that. You might be tempted to correct the inclination at the node, but actually a mid-course correction is better. It's like exactly what I have left in this stage. <laughs> uh. Fascinating how that works out, huh? But is the poodle gonna be enough for the capture and the initial descent burn? Hmm. At least the capture. It'll be alright if it just captures us. I guess we should get into a polarish orbit around Drez? I don't know. Uh, where's the eye? It shouldn't have a uh, it should have a little marker, right? I don't see. I don't see the little marker. Did we not pick up the mission? Anyway, we're 195 days until we have to do that. Well, we've, we're tracking it. But surely it should show a dot, right? And we depleting power. It seems like yeah, we do have the, the core on. So let's turn that off. Where's that rover thing?
say control disabled for now. Departing Kerbin. And our mid-course correction will be pretty much exactly what we've got left in this stage. Left valid mission. Oh, does, does the radiation experiment not work in interplanetary space? I hope it works around Drez at least. Uh, I saw it come in, but then it sort of disappeared. <laughs> uh, let's go opposite this and then separate, and maybe that'll give us a little impulse in the right direction. Okay. Well, that wasn't much of an impulse. Hmm. Let's just get all that clear, thank you. Might as well get this solar panel out and that antenna out. Ooh, the antenna's right in front of the solar panel. That's not ideal, but anyway. Okay, well, whatever that is. Okay, 129 kilometers I'll take. Let's go. 1,538. I hope that'll at least be enough to capture. 